Welcome to Technic Tuesday with Scotty Crafts and Wendy. Today I'm going to make the little alterations uh, pocket envelope. So this is using a Sizzix die through the Big Shot machine. When you use these dies you need to actually use it with a 1B cutting, uh, one clear cutting pad and the Sizzix premium crease pad. This is like a black soft version of, a, of the clear mat. If you don't use that, what'll happen is it'll split on the, the seams when you cut it. So maybe only in two directions that um, you, that might occur, but you do need the crease pad just so that it creases the lines rather than damages the card so that it rips apart. So this is what it's going to look like completed, and the technique that we're doing is called faux suede. So this is done with Perfect Pearls and the Ink Essentials Ink Refresher. So this is like a spray that you can spray onto anything water-based, like your Distress ink pads, your pens, etc., to refresh them rather than having to re-ink. So I'll just pop that aside. The Perfect Pearls, you can get buy them in packs like this. This is a pack of four and it comes with a couple of little brushes plus a Perfect Medium. That's just some of the colours that are available. I'll tilt that so that you can see it. So I've already pre-cut my little envelope. What I'm going to do now is just spray it with the ink refresher. So you spray it on and then you basically massage it into your cardstock. So we're just going to get it all over it. This is a... Uh, I think it's a resin, so it does amazing things to a piece of card, it makes it feel and look like leather. So I'm just giving it a good scrunch up here, and I'll bring it up to the camera once I've done this. It's starting to look and feel like leather, it's really amazing. It doesn't have to be an envelope, your finished item, it could be anything. So once you've done that, all you need to do then is just take some colours in your perfect pearls, Pop your finger into the jar and then just rub them over the top. Could be any colours, I like to mix colours from all different packs. This one's an interesting one, it looks pink in the, in the little jar but when you put it on it goes this beautiful mauve kind of colour. You can already see the beautiful sheen coming up and that, with these perfect pearls they've got a, a, um, a medium in them that the minute they touch anything moist they actually will set and they won't rub off once they're dry. So there's my background all done and from there it's a matter of just folding the envelope on the crease lines and adhering it with some double sided tape. I'm not going to do that because this is still wet so we're, I'll show you the one completed. Uh, the die also cuts out the two little ring reinforcers so that you can apply them to do it up and all you do is use like your awl or your pokey tool to poke the hole through, pop a little brad through the, each of the two holes so one goes in the flap on the envelope, the other goes on the body of the envelope and then you just take it, your string and wind it in a figure of eight to close your envelope. So there it is there. So the products that I've used are the ink refresher the Perfect Pearls, and I've used the Sizzix Alterations Pocket Envelope die to create my little envelope. You could punch this and put it into an album, you can put it on a layout, you could put it on a card, you could apply, um, put all sorts of information inside, um, and then you're good to go basically. So quick and easy to do. Thanks for joining me, see you again soon.